What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about sloped piping or plumbing inside of Revit. So when it comes to laying out pipes in Revit, it can seem fairly simple. Uh, even when it comes to sloped pipes, uh, you can easily slope a pipe. But the problem is when you have a bit more of a complicated system, when everything needs to come together and everything needs to be sloped, well, that's where the problems can uh, arise. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you my personal approach when it comes to working with sloped piping in Revit and how I solve some of these issues uh, and just to kind of what's the, what's the approach to doing that. Now, obviously, this is just going to be a simple uh, YouTube tutorial. However, if you want to learn pretty much everything uh, on the topic of uh, plumbing in Revit, I have an entire course which is available on my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. Uh, now you can check that course out if you want to learn about plumbing in Revit and I have many more different courses that cover uh, various different topics inside of Revit. Also there you can find some of my customized Revit templates, you can find some really high quality Revit families as well as a plugin. So check it out if you're interested. Also make sure to like this video, it helps me out a lot and also make sure to subscribe. Not only does it help you not miss any of my future videos, but it makes the alpaca happy and well we want to make the alpaca happy. Okay now with everything kind of done, let's jump into Revit. As you can see here, I'm at the home page of Revit, at the home screen, so I'm just going to go here to models and then to new. And because we're working on a plumbing project, I'm simply going to choose the plumbing default metric uh, template. If you don't see it here, you can go here to browse and then go to templates. Uh, okay, let's go back a few steps see here okay templates and then you can find metric or imperial uh, plumbing templates you can usually find them here uh, however in this case I already have it here on my kind of uh, default template files so I'm just going to be choosing that uh, default template and click OK to open it up okay now uh, as soon as Revit kind of starts up uh, what I'm going to be doing first is laying out the design now I'm just going to be doing this really simply uh, so I'm just going to go here to the systems uh, tab uh, then I'm going to go to plumbing fixture and uh, now here for the plumbing plumbing fixture I want to add a couple of water closets we have these kind of uh, these uh, flush uh, valve I don't like these so I'm just going to go here to load family and then go here to plumbing, low, go to MEP, uh, fixtures, water closets, and then I like the ones with the flush tank. So let's go with this one, hit open. There we go. And now if I go back to systems and go back to plumbing fixtures, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to place one here and then let's place another one next to it, just like that. And then let's add some sinks. So we should have some sinks here do we? Okay, we have these kind of the ones again that I don't like. So uh, let's again go into insert. Let's go into load family and let's load in a few sinks. So let's go back here. Okay, here we have some sinks. Uh, yeah, so that's for the or drinking fun. Now let's go with sinks. So these are all kind of phase based, which I don't want. So I think I have this Let's go with this work sink, open it up. And then when it comes to placing this sink, again, go to systems, go to plumbing fixtures. And here we go. We have that sink. Uh, you can rotate that around and I'm just going to give it an uh, elevation from level. Let's place it at 90, uh, 900 millimeters. And then we can place a couple of these sinks. Yeah, let's just place them like this. There we go. And now if I go to the 3D view, this is what we have. So we have a couple of sinks here. We have a couple of water closets here. This can be kind of a couple of stalls uh, and so on. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I'm not going to make it too complicated. We just want to demonstrate sloped piping. And let's get started. So to add pipes, what you want to do and what my first approach would be to come to the floor plan view uh, and then uh, you want to uh, go here either to pipe or if you already have a fixture an easier way to approach it would be just to select that fixture and here you have the out see how it says 100 millimeter uh, out 
pipe and then you can just click on that and you can immediately place that piping here. Also make sure to switch the detail level to fine so you can see this as an entire instead of just a simple line it actually has that kind of the, the, the width of the pipe and then we have to set up some of the settings here. So the diameter of the pipe, I'm fine with that. Uh, the middle elevation, currently it's at zero. Obviously I don't want this to go through the floor. I want it to go below the floor. So I'm just going to give it a uh, an offset here of minus, let's go with minus, I don't know, 400 or 600 millimeters. Now, if I just were to hit apply, it's just going to go straight down and stop. See how it just goes straight down and stops? Again, let's switch this to fine level of detail. There we go. So this was simply stop here. However, I don't want it to stop there. So let's go back a step. So you just want to go again, select it, pipe, minus 600, hit enter, and then you just want to go into a certain direction. And in this case, I want to go towards this direction. Now before we click, we also want to add that slope. So you add the slope by going here to slope the piping, and then you go slope obviously down away from the water closet. And then here we can add the slope value. I'm going to go with 2% because that's what we use here in my country. And then I'm just going to extend it like so and click. And this will be not visible. So let's hit the escape key a few times. And the reason why this pipe isn't visible, even though it's here, Let's switch to fine, there we go. So we can see the pipe here, but it's not visible in the floor plan view. Well, that's because of the view range settings. So you wanna make sure that the view range settings, so they're here in the view properties. Uh, let's see, view range, here we go. You just wanna go into edit, and then you want to change the primary range, the bottom one to unlimited. And I like to change the view depth to unlimited, hit apply, okay. And now you can see that piping in the floor plan view, uh, even though it's kind of below the, the original view depth, but we have changed the view depth, so now we can see it. Okay, so now we have this pipe here, but, and you can see it's sloped, especially if I create a section. Let's run a quick se section through this, just like so. So you can see this has that slope. Uh, if I go to fine level of detail here, you can obviously see a slope. If you don't believe me, I can add uh, a quick uh, slope arrow. There we go. Well, this is annoying. Let's switch it to percentage. There we go. Okay. Apply. Okay. There we go. So this is 2% obviously. Uh, so now we have this uh, um, we, we have this piping that's at 2% and now we want to attach the second water closet here to that pipe. So how do we do that? Well, if I were to just go back here to my floor plan view and just repeat the same, so minus 600 millimeters, uh, again, same slope down 2% and then obviously I wanna attach it like this. If I were to click, it is going to attach, but if I go to the 3D view, you can see that this as you can see, this kind of goes down and then it goes up to attach to here because this uh, kind of follows the different slope and uh, or it follows the same slope, but it's basically uh, not the same point here because this is obviously longer than this. This element is longer than this element. So that's why this is the this kind of end here is lower. See, this is minus 624, whereas this is, oh, it's the same. That's odd, but it still slopes up. So even though it reports the same, it slopes up a little bit. So that's annoying. We don't want that. So how do we get rid of this thing? How do we make it connect without having this? And how do we have proper sloping? Well, what I do, if I just go back one step, is I like to go to, the, to here. Uh, and then let's go back here. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to go here to the out and then let's just go down by, I don't know, like minus 800 millimeters. Doesn't really matter how far, uh, far enough, hit apply. And now it just goes down. There we go. So now it just goes down. If I go to the 3D view, this is what we have. So now to connect it with this one, what I'm going to do is first go here to detail line and just have my, a quick kind of line to help me out. So I want this to go at a 45 degree angle to here. So this is basically just indicating the direction. 
or where that uh, piping will go. And then I would go to this pipe, right click, uh, and then create similar to select the same piping. You can also use the CS shortcut. And then you have this little tool here, placement tool, it's called inherit elevation. So what this will do is when you click here on this pipe and the pipe needs to highlight. See how now only the line highlights. However, if I hit the tab key, the pipe will highlight as well. So when we click on this pipe just like this, it's going to inherit the elevation of this point on this pipe. So it's going to be perfectly flush with this pipe and then it's going to go up to here. Now, instead of slope down, because we're going in reverse, we need to slope up at two degrees. And now if I come here, use the tab key just to make sure that we're on that pipe when you click. And if I go up to here, this will happen. So see, now if I go to the 3D view, we still have that slope, but instead of having that additional element where it kind of slopes up for some reason, in this case, it's perfectly flush because we have used that inherent elevation tool. And then to connect these to here, you can just move this up until it kind of goes to that point and then it's just going to give you the, the little elbow connection. And there we go, we have connected our two water closets. And then obviously we can use the same thing here for our sinks. So for the sink, I would go here and let's select the sink. Again, we have the same out. So if I zoom in here, 40 millimeter out. So I'm just going to select that, set the elevation at 400 millimeters, and then go, obviously it would go first inside of the wall. Oops, let's see what's wrong there. Let's try that again. So I want 400. Oh, it goes slope up. I wanted to slope down. That was wrong. Okay, go there, then follow. Again, we're using the same slope down up to here, and then it can perhaps attach somewhere on this pipe, but we'll do that later on. So for now, let's just leave it as is. Okay, so once we have done this, let's hit the escape key a few times. There we go, so we have this piping, and as you can see here, we have that slope of two degrees here, we have that slope of two degrees, that's perfect. And now we want to attach this sink. And then I would use the same approach as I used for the water closets. So I would come back to plumbing, come back here, click, uh, go 400 millimeters or 500 millimeters, doesn't matter. Let's go, we can even go 300, okay. Let's go like that, and then just hit apply. Okay, so now it just goes straight down. Then I would go back here to the floor plan view. I would go to detail line. I would find the center here and just go like this. Okay, now once I have that kind of mark on my pipe, I would select this pipe, right click, create similar, make sure that inherent elevation, inherent elevation is selected. In this case, we wanna slope up, obviously, because we're going in the kind of other direction. Click here and then just go up to here. There we go. And now if I go to the 3D view, this is what we have. Now here, it didn't add an elbow, it added a T. So let's delete this, delete this, and then you can just kind of extend this down and it's just going to kind of connect them with uh, just a simple elbow. And now you have kind of properly connected this with the slope going kind of evenly everywhere. And then finally, we just want to connect that with this pipe. So for that, again, I would use the same approach with these uh, detail lines as kind of my helpers. So I would go to detail line, I would go from here to here, and then let's say I want to attach it to here. I would go to this pipe, right click, create similar, and then I would start from here. I would again slope up, make sure to use the tab key once just to make sure that you click on that pipe and you go from there up to here and then you would go up to here, let's see, okay, we seem to have a problem there, let's see what the problem is, oh, because it went all the way up, I did not want that, so let's try that again, inherit elevation, slope up, Okay, let's just place it like that. Okay, there we go. This is what we basically want to see. Then we can extend this just a little bit. And this one can now go down. So if I can go here to plumbing, I can select this, right click, 
create similar. I would click here and then I can change the elevation to something way lower like minus 800 for example and just hit apply so it's just going to go straight down and then we can make that intersection here so it can just go up to there again it's going to create a T we don't want a T so I just want to extend this come on connect them so sometimes this can be annoying just to make that connection but I think this will oops no not that okay and there we go so now we have a proper elbow there and now you can see everything follows that perfect two degree slope now it is a little bit annoying and it can be really tedious but in the end you get that perfect sloped two percent pipe everywhere and you don't have to add any weird like uh, elements that uh, slope up or down or anything so this is what we have in the end uh, now i would like to ask you if you uh, work with plumbing inside of revit is this the approach that you use or do you use perhaps a different approach i would like to uh, know what different experts are using uh, for uh, this particular topic because it's so tedious Yes, I don't like it. I would enjoy if it were uh, a little bit simpler, but yeah, so I, I would like to, uh, to learn. So anyways, I hope you have enjoyed the, this video. And uh, finally, before we end, if you want to get access to all of my project files, like this one file here and and the rest of my project files, I have over 400 files so far, and I'm adding more each month. You can find all of them on my Patreon page. I'm going to be including a link down in the description below this video and also in the cards above. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.